AMD launched their 7000WX and 7000X series Threadripper processors earlier this month. And with them came all of the fanfare that comes with a new proc release of a new Threadripper nonetheless. You know, tons of people trying to debate which one will be better for their system, tons of people wanting to know how it stacks up for prior gens, and tons of YouTubers going straight to the benchmarks and showing them to the people. Um, but along with those CPUs comes their chipsets, and the chipsets are oftentimes overlooked among the hype for the processors themselves. So I want to make a quick video going over what might be better for your system if you already have a Threadripper in your cart. First, I want to go over, however, what a chipset is. I know I've already went over this in the Z690 versus Z790 video, but you know, being really tight on the terminology never really hurts. So I'm going to read directly from my script here so I don't get this wrong. A chipset is a component on a motherboard that's designed by Intel or AMD, usually, to work exclusively with their specific processors and essentially facilitates communication between the CPU, storage, RAM, GPU, and I.O. Now, certain chipsets only support certain features, such as PCI Gen 5, DDR5 RAM, and USB 3.2 Gen 2. So if you're looking for a particular feature, make sure that it is supported on that chipset first. And beyond anything else, your processor is only supported on a certain chipset or a certain set of chipsets. It might be a BIOS update or something, but you know that is the priority your proc is kind of king here it's the brains of the operation so you want to make sure that that is the first compatibility thing you figure out so on to the trx50 and the wx90 the two new chipsets i have the stats pulled up right here i'm going to put them on screen so right away you can see that the trx50 is the base model whereas the wx90 is the step up from that the base Threadripper 7000X series only works on the TRX50, so that's an obvious choice if you want to go for the base model, but the Pro works with both the TRX50 and the WRX90. The WRX90, despite not being some cool new Subaru from the future, is the more performant chipset with 80 more PCIe lanes, double the memory channels, and therefore double the maximum potential memory. So what does all that mean? Um, Ultimately, like with anything else in PC building, uh, this sort of depends on your use case. If you are going for top of the barrel, you know, 7995 WX Pro Series Threadripper, and you're going to make use of all 96 of those cores in a multi-threaded application, and you're going to make use of a ton of RAM, then don't hesitate. It's worth the investment, and you're already investing so much in that processor that investing in the WX90 really isn't that much of a difference. Now, if you're going for a more of a high-end desktop situation and, you know, a meager 256 gigabytes of RAM and 64 cores is good enough for you, then, yeah, absolutely go for the TRX50. It's a plenty good chipset and it will serve you perfectly well and allows you to invest a little bit more into that very pricey Threadripper processor. But if you see and maybe having professionals do all of this for you is a better investment, than um, these processors and chipsets alone, you can give us a call. Uh, the number's right there on screen and right below it is our website, velocitymicro.com. We'll have our professional craftspeople right here in Richmond, Virginia, make a Threadripper workstation for you or any other kind of workstation at gaming PC. This has been Marcus with Velocity Micro. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.